Dear colleagues, welcome to this course in calculation of coordinates. This course is based on the chapters above, manual calculations of coordinates, calculation of coordinates on a workstation and stealth cranial. Further, on a number of downloadable operation plans. I suggest that you start with the first chapter and continue in an orderly fashion. So, do we need to know how to calculate coordinates without a navigation system? Yes, you need to know how to calculate coordinates manually or on a workstation in case your navigation system should break down in a critical phase of your procedure. I will here briefly demonstrate how this is done on a workstation. In order to perform these calculations in the Lexcel system, we are using the set-shaped linear markers on the front, left and right side of the MRI CT indicator box. On a horizontal slice, each set-shaped linear marker will be visible as three fiducials, thus three frontal, three left-sided and three right-sided fiducials. Point zero is in the Lexcel system located in the posterior upper right corner and we have increasing values forwards, downwards and to the left. When we are performing atlas targeting, then we start by placing a measuring line from the AC to the PC. We place a new measuring line over the first line and extend it to the mid commissural point. We place an angle line perpendicular to the ICL through the MCP. We place a measuring line in the MCP and follow the perpendicular line to the laterality of the target. We then place a new measuring line at the lateral end of the first line. We extend this line perpendicular to the anterior posterior position of the target. We can now mark the target point. If we are performing visual anatomical targeting, we simply identify and mark the target. When we have identified the target, the next step is to calculate the coordinates. The centers of the anterior fiducials on each side of the brain are connected with the centers of the posterior fiducials with two oblique lines, thereby creating a cross. The fiducials in the middle are connected with the horizontal line. We move the horizontal line to the center of the cross. We create an angle line perpendicular to the horizontal line and passing through the center of the cross. In order to get the x-coordinate, we measure the distance from the target to the perpendicular line with a measuring line. This value is added to 100 if the target is located to the left of origin and subtracted from 100 if the target is located to the right of origin. In order to get the y-coordinate, we measure the distance from the target to the horizontal line with a measuring line. This value is added to 100 if the target is located anterior of origin and subtracted from 100 if the target is located posterior of origin. In order to get the set coordinate, we measure distance between the posterior fiducials and the middle fiducial on each side and divide by 2 to get the mean value. We then add 40 to the mean value. The calculations can also be done on X-ray film with the use of a light box, needle or pen, mini calculator and a ruler. The major difference 
is that you need to measure and take into account also the scale of the images, as explained in detail in the lecture. I suggest that you practice manual calculations and calculations on a workstation when you are taking the stealth cranial course. This is best done after you have done the exercises in part 7, Atlas Targeting. The course in stealth cranial is of course intended for stealth cranial. However, if you are using another navigation system, you can still browse the lecture. Some parts are applicable to navigation systems in general. In part 1 we will look at uh, how to manage exams and operation plans. In part 2 defining the ACPC and frame. In part 3, 4 and 5 we'll look at different functions in the system. In part 6 we'll look at how to create a target, an entry point and a trajectory. And finally in part 7 we'll look at Atlas targeting. Part 8 and 9, which are mentioned here, are part of other courses. In this and other courses, practical exercises are included. A number of downloadable investigations with pre-calculated targets and trajectories are available for download. These are simply downloaded to a USB memory stick and uploaded to your navigation system. Each case is described in detail in the downloadable case guides. Here we are also providing coordinates for targets and entry points. Thus, if you are using another navigation system than Stealth Cranial, you can still import the investigations as DICOM into your system and identify our suggestions based on the provided coordinates. You can also use these cases when practicing manual calculations and calculations on a workstation. And with this, I end this presentation. Thank you for your attention.